If you are a Spotify user who finds the default look of the Spotify client kinda boring, then this tutorial is definitely for you. Hi, I'm Tech Enthusiast and I make technology-oriented videos. Today I will show you how you can make your Spotify client go from this to something like this in just a few simple steps. This customization can apply to any operating system user, either if you are using Linux, macOS or Windows, the steps to getting Spotify look a certain way are all similar no matter which operating system you are using. With that said, get subscribed, leave a like down below and let's get started. The one prerequisite which you will need to have installed on your system is actually Spotify, but not any kind of Spotify, you will need to have Spotify installed from their website and not from the Microsoft Store because the customization for the Spotify client doesn't work really well with the Spotify client from the Microsoft Store. So to install the Spotify client from their website, you can go to Google and search for the Spotify, press enter and then you can already see here download link. After that, you can go here once again to the download and make sure that you then click on this white button. After that, click on the exe file and this should actually download and install Spotify client on your system. And uh, meanwhile, it's installing. We can also go to the Spicedify and here, make sure that you click on the link on the top left, getting started. Here you will get a link for the installation of the Spicedify client. So for the Windows users, I highly recommend that you copy this command. But before we install the Spicedify client, you will need to actually close the Spotify client itself. So make sure that you close the Spotify client like so. And then you can go here to the start menu and search for the PowerShell. And then you will need to right click and then select run as administrator and then select yes here. And now we can basically paste this command that we copied from here inside the PowerShell uh, window. So here, control and V to paste the command and then you can press enter to install the Spicedify client. So at the end message, you should see success Spotify is spiced up. And after that, we can actually close this PowerShell window and open up the Spotify. Now, I will here log in inside my account and then I'll get back to you guys when we can actually customize the Spotify client. Here on the left, on the top left, you should see a brand new menu called Marketplace. So this is basically the addition from the Spicedify, which we installed for this Spotify client. And here on the top, you have an option to search for the extensions, themes, snippets, apps, and also which customizations you already have installed. So how do you guys actually install a theme? It's quite simple. Let's go here to the themes tab. And here I will select a theme which I know it looks absolutely stunning and this one is called Dribblish. Here you can also see that some of the themes actually include external JS files. So let's click on this Dribblish uh, theme and here on the top right you already see this install button. Let's click on this one and let's click here reload now. And now you can already see how the Spotify client actually behaves with this brand new theme. Now, if we go still to the marketplace and let's go to the teams, you can also see how this theme actually modified the Spotify client. If we want to go here and let's say we can select, for example, another theme right now, Nord Light, for example, you can already see how this theme actually changes through different colors. So here we have the Nord Light. We can also apply the Dark One, Dracula One, and all of these are inside of this Dribblish theme. Right now, let's install another theme which doesn't actually have external JS files, for example, these dreary so here i will go to this theme and let's click on the installed and let's click on the reload and now the theme should actually be applied and you can already see how this theme looks for the spotify client now if you go here back to the spicedify marketplace you can already see a few of the presets which this theme actually includes for example the deeper one has this nice um, green dark green color Bib one, which is similar to the Dribblish one, mono and so and so on. Let's click on the gray tone 
yeah, some of the nice options are here. For example, this golden one looks absolutely stunning. You can already see that I actually installed this team after this one, and this one was actually removed automatically. And right now, we can also go here to the extensions, and uh, let's take a look at a few of them, which I think are quite useful. The one which caught my eye is definitely this ad block, which will definitely block all of the visual ads and I think also audio ads. So if we install it, then we will just need to reload the Spotify client and now the actual extension is applied. So you can already see ad block is installed. And if we go here to the installed tab at the top right, you can also see which things we have installed, for example, extensions, which is installed ad block and the team is, is installed this one dreary. Let's go here back to the extensions and let's install another one and let's click on the install. Let's click on the reload. So this extension will then add the song stats for the songs you actually are playing. So for example, if I go here to the today's top lists and let's click this one die for you remix view song stats. For example, you can also see the stability, key loudness and speechiness instruments and valence. These are all of the stats which you can um, actually see. So yeah, this is another great extension if you ask me. Now let's go here to the snippets. So the snippets are basically the functionalities which you can add on top of the already um, existing theme. For example, fix main view width and so and so on. And now we can also go here to the apps. If you want to install an app, you can also get this one from the GitHub. So there is no straightforward installation. You will go here to the GitHub and not through this marketplace. So if you want to uninstall this modification, the one thing you can actually do is to close the Spotify client. Then you can go ahead to the spicedefy.app website and make sure that you click here on the uninstallation tab. For the Windows users, make sure that you actually copy this code and for the Linux and the Mac OS, you need to copy this code. So for the Windows users, go to the start menu and search for the PowerShell. Make sure that you once again run it as administrator. Here select yes and then you can just control and V and paste inside this code. Now press enter and the Spicedify should be uninstalled. So if I right now open the Spotify client once again, you should see here that the marketplace button here on the top left is completely gone. With that said, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and you can also buy me a coffee on coffee.com, link in the video description. All the required files for this tutorial will be also linked in the video description down below. And uh, yeah, have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.